If you sell a wide variety of products with various weights, large dimensions, or different shipping origins, you may need to customize your shipping charges extensively. That's where the Shipping Override Template can help. You can set up a Shipping Override Template to charge a unique flat rate for individual SKUs, charge an added rate for individual SKUs in addition to the rate the standard shipping model uses, designate regions where certain SKUs can or cannot be shipped. For example, if you sell electronics, you might not want to ship a 200-pound television to Canada. You can find the Shipping Override template using the search bar in the top right-hand side of Seller Central. The template itself, as you can see, is a spreadsheet that contains four separate tabs, including an Instructions tab that tells you how to use the file, a Data Definition tab that defines each attribute or column in the file, the Shipping Overrides tab, where you fill out your overrides, and a Valid Values tab with a set list of text values to use in certain attributes within the template. Let's take a closer look at how to fill out the attributes in the Shipping Overrides tab. In column A, list a SKU that needs an override. In column B, enter a currency. You can find accepted values in the Data Definitions tab. Column C is for your shipping option. Refer to the Valid Values tab, then enter the appropriate text corresponding to the region and service level you are setting for the SKU. In column D, enter the unique shipping charge for the SKU. In column E, you have two options, additive or exclusive. Additive means the shipping charge you specify will be added in addition to your regular shipping settings. Exclusive means the shipping charge you specify will be used instead of your regular shipping settings. Column F is for a shipping restriction. Enter true or false. A value of true means that SKU cannot be shipped to that location. For example, a seller might specify true here if their SKU cannot be shipped to a particular region. Columns B through F need to be filled out for each line item in column A. The settings from one row will not copy to the next. Note that each region needs to be set up individually. For example, Columns B through F would be filled out for the first region, G through J for the second region, K through N for the third, O through R for the fourth, S through V for the fifth, and W through Z for the sixth region. You'll notice the template only extends to column AA. If you want to apply the override template for more than six regions, include another row for your SKU, listing that SKU twice in column A so that you can apply additional regions for that particular SKU. Finally, column AA has only two valid values, update or delete. If you delete an item from your inventory, you'll also want to delete it from your shipping override. If you're only editing your line items, select update. Once you've completed the shipping override template, save it as a text tab delimited file. To do so, click File, Save As, and under File Type, select Text Tab Delimited. Consider adding dates to your files in case you ever need to resort to an earlier version. Consider also saving a second copy as a normal XLS file to retain the formatting of the original template. To upload and apply the Shipping Override template, hover over Inventory in Seller Central and click Add Products via Upload. In the second tab labeled Upload Your Inventory File, select the last option in the drop-down menu for Shipping Overrides File. Then browse for your file and select Upload Now. As with a typical inventory file, the system will take anywhere from a few minutes to over an hour to process your file and apply changes to your inventory. Although the Shipping Override template provides you with greater control over your shipping settings, it requires maintenance and some extra work on your part. Each time you upload new items that require an override, you'll need to add them to your Shipping Override template. 
You'll also need to manually remove the shipping override template with the delete feed if your overrides no longer apply. For more information, search for Shipping Overrides in Seller Central Help. Thank you.